Whatever you want, you gotta go take it. No. Ain't nobody can give it to you. Let's go take what we want. The autumn wind is a pirate. Blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather beaten. He wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. The Las Vegas Raiders might not be looking to trade 2019 first round pick Josh Jacobs, but he's going to have to move over a little. He's going to be sharing carries with 2022 fourth round pick Zamir White. White can be special. He has the same tackle breaking power and balance to turn out yards after contact. He's not quite as elusive as Jacobs, but he is elusive. And of course, he has that all important vision to see holes that are open and the ones that are going to be open when the play develops more. But he also has something that Jacobs doesn't that can really make him special. He has that game breaking speed to take it the distance from anywhere on the field. The Raiders haven't had a back that could take the distance from anywhere on the field on any given play since Darren McFadden. White ran a 4-4-0-40 at the combine, just like Adrian Peterson, who Maurice Jones Drew compared him to. He does have a couple of things to work on, but his traits are right up there with the likes of Peterson and Marshawn Lynch. White wasn't asked to catch the ball much at Georgia, so this drop here did raise questions about his skills in that area. But he hasn't dropped the ball since, showing he can get better at it. Here he is on the check down, making the guy miss after. And of course he's going to be able to catch a screen. McDaniels loves to run screens, so I'm pretty sure we're going to see White get a few. I mean, he does have the broken field running skills for it, like he shows here. Oh, I absolutely love this. A power play with all the down blocks and the guard pulling. But the real purpose of showing this play is to show that White can get more yards than what's made available to him. Again, we got power, but the strong safety is going to come blow it up, and he's going to have him for a loss of one. But White's going to break that tackle and push forward for a gain of two or three. These are very underappreciated runs that keep the offense at least relatively on schedule. Here White's going to do it again. Here he sees the defensive lineman getting loose, but he's at the shadow of his own goal line, so he can't dance around. Remember when Marshawn Lynch ran over a defensive tackle? Well, he didn't quite do that, but he drove him back for a couple of extra yards. Here they go on third and one, and they're going to give him a toss. And he sees a linebacker show up in the hole, but he doesn't care who shows up in the hole. He's going to get that first down. So the linebacker just has to get ran over here. Here he shows when it's time to get tough and it's fourth and one, you can put it in his hands. Alright, I diagrammed the power play earlier to show that he can run the power scheme. And now here's the zone diagram to show he can run the zone scheme as well. The good ones can run in any scheme. Alright, he starts out running sideways, then bang, he sees the hole. And what do they say about the zone scheme? One cut downhill. So he's off into the secondary, and the finish. Here we got ISO action up the middle. 
and he can already see the hole is open. All he has to do is follow his fullback through there. And Jacob Johnson ain't a bad one to follow. And he gets through there for a nice game. Now here he comes on the toss, outside left. Now this is a little something he needs to work on. Anytime you're running outside and you have a defender at an angle like this, I was taught in college to attack his inside shoulder. He's gonna get hit hard here because he goes right into where the defender's hips are lined up. When you attack the inside shoulder, he can't hit you hard because his hips aren't lined up with you. And sometimes you can pop through the other side. Again, attack the inside shoulder. Don't take the hit from the defender's whole body. You'll have a better shot at breaking the tackle and you'll last longer from not taking so many big hits. I'm showing Jacobs because he didn't do it when he had a chance to either. Now he has a good chance to break through if he just plants his foot and attacks that inside shoulder. And there's no way he can get hit hard because look where the defender's hips are pointing. But he goes right to where the defender's hips are lined up. Zamir White's a fighter, a tough kid born onto a surgeon's table. Well, most kids are born on a surgeon's table, but he was born onto a surgeon's table with all the surgeries he had darn near as soon as he was born with the defects he was born with. And if that isn't enough, he tore one ACL in high school and the ACL on the other leg in college. But yet here he is, freakish physical gifts still intact. And he uses them to run angry. So Jacobs is going to have to move over and make room. Thank you for watching. See you next time.